Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm up here at our farm. I'm actually doing a trial right now uh, on uh, one of my destination plots. And uh, so this was planted right about two and a half weeks ago. Um, today is, uh, let's see, August, you know, September 3rd right now. So I'm actually coming in and I'm doing a trial of uh, liquid nitrogen versus granular, granular nitrogen. So I've done uh, about three different trials here. I've got three different uh, small food plots here that are all kind of interconnected, but I've separated them all and they're gonna get marked. And uh, so I've already sprayed these. And uh, so this plot right here is gonna be our full rate of liquid nitrogen. This one right here in front of me is the half rate of that liquid nitrogen. And then I've got another one over there you can't see. And that's uh, about 30 pounds per acre of um, uh, granular nitrogen. So this is meant to be a really good trial um, because especially right now, we've been really dry up here and we're not getting a lot of rain. So one of the, the key advantages to uh, going over to liquids is I've come through here and sprayed this and I've mixed in a lot of water, real heavy with my, um, my 16 to 32 ounces of nitrogen in with my 25 gallon sprayer. And then what I'm gonna do is actually come back and I've just uh, reloaded my tank up with another 25 gallons of water. I'm gonna come over this stuff and actually spray this all again and help really soak this ground in and push that, that into the root system of the plant. So um, hopefully, ideally, you know, if we get some rain the next week or so, that would be awesome. But, you know, obviously nothing's ever ideal when you're doing food plots. Um, so, you know, if we can get some moisture in here and we can get our, our uh, nitrogen, our brassicas right now, um, it'll really give them a good jump start, you know, all the way through September into you know, 1st October. So that's kind of the trial we're doing. Uh, and then I'll give you guys kind of an update, um, you know, probably right around two, three weeks later. All right, well, hey guys, this is Colin with Legendary Habitat. I'm out here on our family farm up here in uh, Onekama, here with Brad Harper, uh, Harper Growing Solutions. And uh, today we're going over a couple different food plots uh, and some trials that we've been, we've been working on been working with Brad on um, some different products on uh, mainly nitrogen and so what I've done here is I've got three different experiment uh, plots they've all been planted at the same time with the same planting rate and uh, the same seed these were all planted the uh, first week in August yeah and then how much rain did you get in August do you think so we probably if I had to guess we probably got right around an inch or so through August we were kind of yep. just coming out of that drought Yep. Kind of through midsummer, we started getting some more rains, and then it seemed like we kind of were going back into a drought. We didn't get any rain, kind of late August when a lot of guys were putting fall food food plots yeah. in, and then kind of all the way through seems like early September too. First was, week and a half for sure, yep. possibly two weeks. Yep. Just going through that drought yet there. Yeah. Um, so then, uh, so then basically what I've done here is I've got three different plots, and for my rates. I did full rate, I did half rate for, for both, these were both liquids, and then I've got a, a third section over here that was just granular nitrogen. So what I did here for my first uh, plot here, this was uh, 16 ounces of foliar and 32 ounces of nitrogen and 15 gallons of water. And then this plot right here was a half rate so this was eight ounces of foliar, 16 ounces of nitrogen. And then for the last plat, that was 30 pounds of granular nitrogen. It's interesting because so. just looking at it from here, it's it's kind of hard to tell the difference from full rate of plot doctor and the liquids to half rate. But I think like we were just talking about, you can kind of see a little more open soil that this side that had the full rate definitely filled in a lot more mm -hmm. than half rate. And then this full rate here to compared to the granular side is night and day for sure. Yeah. Uh, especially when you start talking about not getting rains, you know, as timely as what we'd like. Yep. Um, as well as the the amount of tie-ups that you get and obviously weed competition and everything else right. that yep. as soon as you go granular, you kind of lose that edge. For sure. And this definitely shows that this is a perfect trial um, doing a side-by-side -side like this and having, especially when you're having drier conditions because it's, Obviously, that's one thing we can't control. Yep. So as soon as you go into that drought and or just a drier week or something, then it really starts showing stress, and you get that weed competition to mm -hmm. jump up. 
uh, especially when you have all that, especially nitrogen from the granular side of things. Right. That this well, is and you're probably awesome. losing a lot of nitrogen with your granular, if not getting any rain for a week, two weeks, something like that. How much of that is actually going? just evaporating exactly and then too with granular being salt based as soon as you spread that that starts sucking up any moisture that is there yep yep compared to the opposite here um yeah this is a really good trial and you can definitely right off the bat see it's this worked out really well and oh yeah yep i'm glad we were actually able to save that because if you would have done all right. granular we would have been throwing a whole lot more rye right now oh yeah for sure <laughs> yep um it's also i wanted to note that I also came all over all of this with another uh, 15 gallons, basically to, of water and then some more de deer detour um, over both of these plots. Actually, I believe all three plots I sprayed with that um, to really help try to drive a lot of that that uh, liquids into the, into the ground and let the let the plant get a little bit of moisture. So yeah, I'm really excited to see that plot uh, where he did a trial of half deer detour and half not. Um, is that split down the middle? It is. Yeah, Just that's about. awesome. I'm excited so. to see that. I know that's been kind of all over the board this year, and we've really, we've learned a lot. But uh, it's definitely, you know, each food plot's different. Each farm is different. Yep, um, Every soil's different. Deer exactly. density per square mile. We were just talking about that. Yeah, it's you know. it's almost like as soon as you kind of go to that repellent side of things that it's just like, you know, when you pull a soil sample. Mm -hmm. This food plot needs this much lime and fertilizer and this one doesn't need as much and that one needs yep. way more, yep. depending on where they're at um, in accordance to, you know, other food and then your deer density. I mean, it seems like there's just spots where guys went out with full rates of detour and there's deer in there a couple hours later. Yep. And it, they just didn't care one bit because there's not much food around. That's the only food in town or you got so many deer and they just power through it. For so sure. it was interesting seeing that. Um, I mean, overall, we're still, you know, a lot more guys are having success than they're having failures, but it's good because we're learning and really getting it out into a lot of different situations to really put the test to it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm excited to get down there and see that. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. This was a big learning uh, learning curve for me, trying to get my sprayer calibrated correctly, which is something we're going to go over too. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Uh, I know for a while, you know, I started trying these products out, I mean, you know, I wasn't seeing the results that I, you know, was hoping for, and, uh, and now, and I've got stuff a lot better, uh, uh, more dialed in. Now I'm really starting to see good results. I think it's also uh, good for me to note that this soil is, it's really poor. So I've, I've started here and pulled pull the soil test, uh, I believe it was two years ago, mm -hmm. and I've only got a pH of 5.3, and my CEC is, I think, right around 1.3 or something. It was really, yeah, it was yeah, pretty really bad. Low. Plus, you had really high magnesium, yep. um, which, you know, normally we see that in a little bit heavier soils, but when we have uh, sand like this or lighter soils with high magnesium, now you're fighting yep. multiple things all at the same time. Because yep. I know last year when we ran Pentacal, we had a really good result from that application and that's what um you know as soon as we can make sure we're keeping our calcium levels up mm -hmm. as well as you know now this is year two with letting that carbon kind of sit there and do its thing in the soil we're definitely getting there i mean this uh especially over here looks really good for sure well i appreciate it so yeah well uh i'll give you a couple different shots of the rain gauge a couple close-ups on these different plots and then um We'll do a separate video over on a couple other plots I've got in this farm, so. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm cool. excited to see it. Yeah. Okay, guys, so you can see these are the, the uh, two plots that were done with liquid. Here's a rain gauge right here. Um, we've gotten even more rain the last 24 hours. We're all the way up to about an inch and a half right now. Uh, in the last four days, we've gotten. Um, so that's really helped out with our brassicas here. You can see the difference here. Got some great growth from these brassicas lately. Then I'll take you over here. This is where we did half rate. So you can see not a huge difference in my opinion, um, but definitely uh, a huge improvement over the granular. So I'll take you over here. So you can see right here, this is where we did liquid. And then this is right where we switched to granular. 
So you can see the brassicas that are here, they're all germinated, but you can just see the leaf difference in these. So we got about the same germination right here. You can see we've still got decent brassicas here, but they're all just a lot smaller, a lot less tonnage here. Got a couple that are decent size, but. So I just real quick wanted to give an example. This is the leaf size. I basically picked two of the bigger leaves I could find from each plot. This is your granular side right here. And then uh, this was a liquid. So a lot more leaf, a lot more tonnage in this running liquids, especially with poor soil. Uh, if I had better soil, I'd probably have, you know, even better results. So just want to show that. And hope you guys enjoyed the video.